But in Sweden at that time you could only play football uh, the summer, six, seven months during uh, winter time. It was uh, skiing, ice hockey, ski jumping, uh, because we, you couldn't play football on the snow. But football always been my passion. Uh, and where did that passion come from? Was it was it your, your mother or your father? No, I think it was more in school. It started in school. Every break we had in school uh, until the snow came. Football, always football. And then in the small club, of course, started as an eight years old boy, uh, playing, running, playing, kicking the ball. So now football is great love. Really, as a Manchester United fan, I look at his fan and I think we always get beat. We always used to get beat. Lazio in the Super Cup, Manchester City, the double. <laughs> Twice. That's terrible. <laughs> We've never heard the last of that. <laughs> no, I, I think it was good. <laughs> <laughs> you, you would one, say one that. game, uh, <laughs> maybe we didn't deserve it. The first game, oh, yeah. well, the when Giovanni scored. Yeah. <laughs> but the second game, I think we we deserved it. Well, that's history today. But anyhow, United won the league anyhow. So <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, but, I think they, I think they would take that losing twice against City and winning the league. I still no, hurts no. a bit. Well, yeah, yeah, as a, yeah, you're right. I, I think City fans would rather beat United twice and win the league sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, were you surprised that bit when you went to Manchester? Because in many ways, Manchester City live, live under this shadow of United, and yet the fans are just as passionate, and it's a big thing to them. You know, football is like a religion. I remember the first day I came, it came an old gentleman to me and said, Sven, remember one thing. It's not important if we play in Europe, winning the league, the only important thing is to beat Manchester United twice. <laughs> <laughs> if you do that, everything is okay. Did so you, did I, you I think, think, think he was joking? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, but I think they feel it strongly. And of course, it's easy to understand that because during long, long time now, United always successful in England, in Europe, maybe the biggest club in the world. And City uh, has done the opposite, suffering, suffering a lot, um, bad results, bad, bad positions in the league. So of course they, they feel the big brother maybe, to beat the big brother is always good. Do you, do you still watch out for Manchester City's results? Yeah, of course I do, but I look at all the results in Premier League. And, but of course you always feel something special for the clubs you have been managed in the past, in England here. <clears throat> and uh, in Italy, Portugal, Sweden, so they belong in, inside there a little bit, always. Lovely bloke and an absolute gentleman, but you know, uh, does it make City fans seem a bit bitter? I mean, you, <laughs> that's one thing you all have avoided, won't you? Meeting and living, living alongside City fans all your life as a yeah, United fan. Yeah, a friend of mine, Roy, Roy Webber, who, who lives in Harrogate, he gets it from the Leeds United supporters, because he, he, he's got a, a business based in Leeds. And if United get beaten at a weekend, he goes in. I mean, it's, it's tough for a couple of days. Notes everywhere, jokes, you know, all of that. So, uh, But he's a Yorkshire Red, isn't he? Yes, he is. That's but true. there's a lot of them, you know, yeah. Jeff Boycott, yeah. Brian Blessed. Yeah. But, I mean, it's interesting, you know, you talking there to, to Sven, because, I mean, in the Cantona era, uh, United, it was a long run of big defeats. We, we hammered City year after year, didn't we? Oh, absolutely. All the 5-0, <laughs> the demolition derby. Yeah. And what a great team that was. Kanchelskis, Cantona, yeah. Ince. Weren't were, 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 were allowed it. to play in Europe, though, were they? Mm. They had to do the old foreigners' that's rule. That's right. Yeah, mm. that's right. Mm. Messed us up again. Yeah. Cheating us out yeah. of another trophy. <laughs> yeah. A, a trophy is like a mysterious silver object. <laughs> is it? Right. You know, like UFOs <laughs> <laughs> on, the kind of, on the ground. <laughs> Thanks, Terry. Thanks, Sorry, mate. Dave. Because yeah. you're still doing uh, your rounds of comedy. Do you do any football comedy at all? Not really. I mean, I do... Um, it, uh, <laughs> A lot of made-up stuff, really, about my granddad being a Bury fan, and um, <laughs> what, what, pick well, on them, know, you mean? <laughs> well, because like you know, I do a thing about like I'm from Bolton, I don't get a choice. But my granddad, he was a shaker, you know, he's from Bury and all that, and there's no jokes around that and stuff. Um, and if I do football events, sort of thing, I'll just put a couple of little ones in about um, how he wanted his uh, when he died, he wanted his ashes spread on the pitch at uh, Gig Lane there, and uh, they won't let him. It was like say, it was too contaminated. Too many people done that. But because he was a season ticket holder, um, if they had him embalmed, 
right? He could uh, no wrong. He could have his seat for the rest of the season. <laughs> just, <laughs> just sit there in the end, you know. <laughs> and so that's what they did. And he, the first game, took him down, sat him there, flat cap, berry scarf, sat him in. A, the Barry came out, played the usual game. Half time, he went home. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, stay with us. Uh, that's it for this part. Coming up after the break, we've got Tinchy Strider talking about United and more from Sportsman Burn Troyer. See you in a couple of minutes. <laughs> <laughs>